Hey, we're here today to discuss the NextGen PCS diagnostic software and its associated features. What you're looking at on screen is the software that will be loaded onto a user's laptop. When the appropriate interface cable is connected to the ESP device and we hit the connect status, we instantly get a connection to the ESP device and all relevant information is downloaded to the user's laptop screen. Basically what you're seeing here, if you notice at the top there is a live voltage, line voltage indicator and as I adjust a variac which I have attached to our line voltage, you can see the instantaneous change in line voltage. What you are also looking at on either side of the screen, on both the left and right hand side, are the timed events that have been recorded. You'll notice that on the right hand side of the screen there are events, under voltage, power outages, over voltages, with associated timestamps. And if I create one, for example, I'll create an over voltage event. The unit is now has turned off, as you can see with the indicator, the unit has now turned off due to an over voltage event until the voltage returns to a safe level, which I have just adjusted it to. All outlets are turned back are turned back on. And as you can see, a new event was recorded, an over-voltage event at 2.58 p.m. on October 15, 2010. Below is a graphical representation of the events that have occurred also. So a user can get a quick representation of a, the number of events and types of events that occurred over a specified time period. On the left-hand side of the screen is a recording of the same events, a summary recording of the same events with which ones have been time-stamped and which ones are actually uh, also recorded based on over and under voltage thresholds that can also be set by the user. This is another powerful feature of the software is that the user has some flexibility in how to set his control parameters uh, in the power conditioning system. For example, under tools we have the ability to cycle power which, it, when this event is chosen, the user has the capability of shutting the power down to any attached equipment, and then in 90 seconds, automatically, the ESP device will bring the power back up. We can clear device memory from this, from this menu, which means before the technician leaves, if he or she chooses to reset the device and clear out all stored data, they can do that from this menu option. There is also an enhanced logging mode. When I select that, as you can see, now we have a live representation, a uh, graphical representation of line voltage. So as I alter it, you can see that we have line voltage changing dramatically real time. And also, again, I just obviously recorded another event. Some of the other features the user has in setup is to set voltage limits. Now here we can control the over and under voltage cutoff limits of the, de of the device itself. So for example, if the factory defaults are set at 80 volts for an under voltage event and 160 volts for an over voltage event, the technician has the option of, of fine tuning those parameters. So for example, if he determines that he may have some equipment that's May, for some reason may be extremely sensitive to some type of over or under voltage event, he has the, uh, the option here to set the over voltage cutoff limit, for example, at, at a top stop of 135 volts. And consequently on the under voltage side, he could set it as high as 95 volts. So here the, the technician has the, has the opportunity to save those limits. Also, I just had a feature pop up called unlock limits and basically what that does is and when you enter the proper code the technician has the ability to actually change the recording limits and that's what you see here on the left hand side of the screen if the technician for example does not want to set any new limits on when the over under voltage cutoffs occur he can record a narrower range of voltage to to make to to see events that may have happened. So for example, if we look at the under voltage setting here, we have a record level of 100 volts and a turnoff level of 80 volts. So what that means is that at 80 volts, yes, the device will cut power to the equipment 
as it's deemed unsafe for it to operate at that at that voltage level. But if the technician so desires, he can record events at 100 volts so that he sees that some voltage event is taking place without turning the machine off. The same thing applies to overvoltage. The record level is set at 135 in this case. The turnoff level, is, however, is not set until 150. So what this means is that the technician will see events recorded if they fall between, if they fall between 100 volts or lower or as much as 135 volts up to 150 volts. So he can see recorded events in this time frame to see if there's some other events going on, some other anomalies that might be associated with this. And again, he may not necessarily want to turn equipment off at these levels. Consequently, again, when we look at the enhanced logging mode, the user has the option of going toggling back and forth between the logging modes. There are options here to actually zero in on the events if they, if they get spread out over a time frame. We can, we can magnify events in a certain time frame to look at a very small window. So there is a, a large amount of flexibility with the software in addition to being able to store this information once the technician leaves the, leaves the site. From this, from this setup here, the technician can export the data to a file so that he can name the location and possibly the serial number of the, of the MFP that the information was downloaded from. He can later pull that back up on his laptop from a file that he saved would include all the images and time-stamped events and furthermore the events themselves can be downloaded into an Excel file the graphical representations can be can, can be downloaded as a JPEG file for viewing later but there's, there's a lot it's, it's a powerful tool to to look at data over a wide range of machines because all of these events can be downloaded to a spreadsheet along with the events from several other pieces of equipment so that a customer, for example, could be given his history of power anomalies that took place over some time period. That concludes our demonstration today of the NextGen PCS software.